What's up you guys, Operation Gamer here, and welcome back to some more Persona 5. In the last episode, we finished off Futaba's Palace, and now we're going to continue more. And if you notice, it's a little different. I decided to give my green screen a shot. I got some, uh, some lights to, uh, hopefully make it look not terrible. It's not exactly perfect, but I think it looks great. And if you guys want more green screen, let me know. Uh, yeah, we're going to go through and do this whole thing. And if I don't like the way it looks, then we'll just go back and do it how we originally do it. But if you guys want more Persona 5, be sure to hit that like button. Let's get her going. Now let's head on out here. Let's return to the real world. Now returning from Tabas Palace. Good job with all your hard work. Look at all that shit that we did. All in one day, might I add. Yes. We secured the truth to the, the oh, root of the treasure. So we've made it, but there's no turning back once the calling card is out. Failure is not an option. Is there anything left to do, Joker? Make sure you take we take our time before going forward. I think we're fine. We just have to do a little bit of a updating on our stuff, and we'll be good to go. I'm hoping to upgrade my lighting a little bit to where it'll actually have front uh, lighting too. You're back. Actually, looks really good for now. Calling cards ready. That was fast. I mean, I already wrote three of them before this, right? But I came up with mo with almost all of the sentences. You don't gotta mention that, smooth Ryuji. The real question here is when we should go to Fataba's room. Well, um, I think our leader should decide. Look who's the smooth one now. It should really be up to him though, don't you think? Absolutely. We have no choice but to carry this out. It's all up to you, Ren. There you have it. Sounds like a pretty important ta task got pushed on you. No point in thinking about it, thinking about it now though, we have to do it. Once you've made up your mind, just give the order as usual in the hideout. Yep, let's go ahead and head to bed. Hey. Let's go to sleep. I'm a shapeshifter. Yeah, I'm really stoked. I can't wait. Am I eventually prepared for this boss fight? Not really, but whatever. Oh, and I got a new water bottle and it fits right in with the green screen. Alright. Check it out. Just a Kami is available, but that's fine. We don't have to do anything. But I am gonna go upgrade my weapons and stuff. I'll be right back. All right. So I was able to upgrade everyone's physical uh, ranged weapons, Yo. and uh, we still have enough to get the Fortune Arcana started. And I think we're gonna do that after we send the calling card. Just kind of, just kind of get it going. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna charge into Futab Taba's room. There's no point in thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling cards. So let me know when you decide. This is different from past cases. We'll be handling the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time to prep work in between, so make sure you're ready beforehand. Let's do it. Okay. Make sure you're ready to go. Once Futaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight for her palace, okay? Let's do it. Let's finish this. Oh. Oh, so you're set on doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. With that aside. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even boss is forbidden entry. We'll be honest. Yes, that is the best course of action. Oh? You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know we're, what, what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Hmm? Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to op open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if, if we just try and talk to her. Yeah. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. I don't remember if we're going in this same day or if we have time to make... Nope, we're going in. Mm. An eyeball? What's this? When did it get on here? Whoa. Whoa! Who, who are you? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from, us from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself? For what? For your mother's death. What? Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. 
Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? <sighs> if so, I will kill them in your world. But what should I do? You gotta be honest. We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. Oh, there she is. You should have told me you were going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared. You have to do this. That's easy for you to say. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other me? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. Ten seconds. That's too short. At, at least minutes, please. <laughs> Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. We can't do that. Time's up, Alibaba. All right, I'll open it now. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. These are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? Closet? Yep, of course. She's gonna hide in the closet. She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. Damn. Th th this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Whoa, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? huh. She understood it? Oh, shit. Why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. No, it's not. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. <laughs> oh, Futaba. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive science? Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us, what happened? She's not answering. Shouldn't we do this later? She seems to have gone through some shit in the past. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? 
Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My mom was... The one who killed her was... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. I, um... A lot happened, so... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it it's not really done right here at this moment. <laughs> all you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. <laughs> she went back in! Ah, <laughs> oh, Futaba. What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, you guys should have been there maybe like a few seconds before. Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? No. Eh, I gotta agree. Just leave this to us. I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> no, I'm going to die. All right, 99. Here we go. Good. Ah! <laughs> Oh, just wait. That kitty's about to help you. Play me my theme. Play me the theme. There we go. The palace security level is so high I can feel it from all the way out here. Futaba seemed total, totally up for getting her heart stolen. What's up with this? Hmm, something about this place is really as unusual. Either way, there's only one way... One thing for us to do now is that we send the calling card. Hell yeah, no matter what we gotta face, we gotta take that treasure for sure. All right, here we go. And we're not gonna fucking, we're not gonna be wimps and uh, take and teleport up there. No, 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 no. We're real phantom thieves. We have a straight shot to the top. We're just gonna fucking go. 
Here we go. All right, we're going all the way up. So, I'm trying to figure out how exactly I want to organize my party. I actually think it might be better if we have staffs. Yeah, we're gonna switch out Makoto for On, and then uh, we have Yusuke for Physical. Physical is gonna be very, very ideal in this fight. Trust me. I hope she read the calling card. I mean, after all the trouble we went through, she damn better well have read it. Yeah. Alright, it's open! Hell, well, yeah. We talked to Chan open the door herself. Nice. Anyway, the treasure is up ahead. Let's finish this. Incredible. Oh crap, I missed that. Uh, yep, this is the hack part of a hacker, all right. Anyway, where's the treasure? This way. I'm getting a strong signal from above us. The treasure is definitely materialized. There's no knowing what may lie ahead. So let's be vi vigilant as we push towards the treasure. Okay, so, uh, real quickly. Does this have a weakness to wind? No. I think we're gonna start off with Neko Shogun. If she does more, uh... Never mind, never mind. I'm gonna stop talking about the boss. I don't remember if there's enemies up here. There there might be. There is. Shit. Fuck! We're breaking through their ranks! Just follow Joker! Oh my god. Okay. Oh shit! We're just gonna run. Fuck it. Oh my god. Um. Oh. Fucking, 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 fuck! Just screw it. We're we're getting out of here. I don't care. Joker. There's no pound death treasures past this point. Let's do this. Yes. That was ridiculous. Oh my god. If I use this, I can change my heart. Vocal input. Fu Fu Futaba Sakura. Sojiro Sakura's house. And then Something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Not again. You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! Your fault! Murderer! No! Who? Oh. That's right. I remember now. Back when they were here, I I messaged Doom in the chat and input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now. No, you're a murderer. I... You're the one who killed it's her. All your fault. Don't come near me. Your fault. I can't take this anymore. Beginning navigation. Oh my God. Am I mentally prepared for this? I don't fucking know. Hell, this ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. 
That's it? The treasure must be inside. Yeah, come on, Ryuji. Quit being a fucking bitch. All right, let's take it. Be careful. T treasure! Morgana? <sighs> There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. But no shit, I think we all do at this point. Yeah, so, she's flying, so we can't fucking reach her. So for now, we're gonna go into Arahabaki, Habaki, whatever. Calm down. Uh, uh, or would it be, hold on. What would be smarter? Hold on. Oh, doesn't really fucking matter, because, uh... Fuck me, right? Alright. We'll go ahead and decrease her defense real quick. That might have been a, way, a bit of a waste. I should have switched a different persona. Oh, well. We can't even reach it with our physical skills either, so... It's just gonna be magic for now. We shouldn't use too much of Morgana's eight. Ah, fuck! I forgot to switch on accessory. Oh, well. Let's go. Yeah. Good one, Fox. Nice, Fox. Yeah, I'm gonna keep our Arba, Arba, whatever on. So the reason why this sucks is because she's extremely vulnerable to physical skills. Ravage them. As you can saw that that th th that reflection did a whole shitload of damage. Go! I am thou. I lend it. Yeah, nice Panther. Oh well. Go ahead and heal up everyone real quick. Meteorama. Thank you. Thank you. I'm dizzy. Can't see straight. Go ahead and decrease her attack real quickly. That might have been a smarter move from the beginning, but oh well. Let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and hit her with another Fula. Rapid ascent. Shit. Yeah, so we have no indication of when the fuck this is gonna happen, so... 
We're gonna, I'm gonna guard with Joker. We're gonna heal up Yusuke real quickly. Much thanks. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna guard with Yusuke. Damn that thing! When's it gonna strike? Guard again. We're gonna guard all the way around. Cause this might take us out if we're not careful. Oh, it's still not attacking. Nope. Keep guarding. Keep guarding. There's nothing we can do. We can't even hit it. So we gotta keep guarding. Here we go. Attack reverted. Damn it! This thing's died. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we fucking... We blocked that shit! Alright. Oh, I'm so glad I made that persona before I, before I got on here. Okay, so we're gonna use a... Uh, what do I wanna use? Life ointment on Morgana real quickly. We'll have him come back in and uh, heal the party back up. Oh, this isn't good. I can't tell at all when it's gonna attack. You can't tell? That's not helping. You have to tell us, Mona. I can't help it. There are some things that even I can't do. So we lost. No, we didn't.